Hey, this is Christy Northrup. I am the Bull Babe with Tupperware. And today we're talking Tupper in the freezer. I don't know where you live. I live in Nevada. It's pretty warm here most of the time. But I have lived in the really cold weather of Michigan before. <laughs> Illinois, even in Texas it gets cold. And even here in Nevada, sometimes it's a little cold. But we're never really frozen, like what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is how you freeze your food. But in all the places that I had to go outside and walk in the snow, I never wore my sandals in the snow. Who would do that? That would be so ludicrous. Yet many people will freeze their food, remember food is such a big investment, in just really terrible things. I don't even want to say some of the words, but maybe in uh, zippy bags, even if it says for freezer, those bags get little holes in it. The walls of the bags are pretty thin. And so I'm going to teach you today how you're going to make freezer jam and store it in authentic, real Tupperware, right? We're not putting this in old sour cream containers or the little containers that our butter came in because we are going to take the time to make this fresh strawberry jam. We want to protect not only our investment, but also our flavor. We want to be able to keep it longer than just a week or two. So I wanted to first point out our freeze it containers. Notice how, first of all, I've got my red, white, and blue right here. Now, right now, I'm going to show you how you can get this free red container. Free, all the way free. So make sure that you um, contact me because it's when you host a party or one of my POP, party on a page party. So either way, I can come to your house or you can do this uh, virtually. So I've got a 16 ounce container here and then I've got these cute, as my little granddaughters would say, they always go, oh, they're so cute, Grandma. See, Tupperware is not just for large families. I know years ago in the 60s and 70s, um, even in the 50s, people, my customers, you know, they're like, oh, I had my kids at home now, now they're not at home. Guess what, now we have the little freezer containers, the cute, cute ones for the empty nesters or even for the newlyweds or the newly moved outs. But then we also have the big size container if you do still have your children at home or like me, grandkids come over quite a bit. So we have a variety of sizes and these are again called the freeze it. And I'm not sure if you can see, how, look at the cute snowflakes. Then you know this goes in the freezer. But you could also use these in your fridge, by the way. So today we're gonna to make homemade fresh strawberry freezer jam and it will not take us but a few minutes and then we're going to store them snug snugly here in my red, white, and blue containers. Now, this red container is available only for free. How wonderful is that? And I know some people will say, well, I'd rather can my vegetables. And you know, then you have to buy the glass jars, which by the way, do break, as you know. If you haven't ever had one broken, you know they're gonna break. Um, but with Tupperware, not only do you purchase them, but you have them for a lifetime. And additionally, not only do you have them for a lifetime, but we will even allow you to get some of them free or at a reduced cost when you refer your friends and family to our company, specifically to me, the bull babe. So today what I'm gonna do is I first need to chop up my strawberries. Now, this recipe is so simple. We're gonna chop up the strawberries, we're gonna mix them in with some sugar and peck them and put them in Tupperware, that simply. But if you chopped up your strawberries with a knife, it's gonna take you a while. I've got our quick chef and I purposely left um, strawberries away from my three blades so you can see the blades right here. And I've got the strawberries, they're all snug in here. I'm gonna put the top on my quick chef and then I'm gonna put my handle so I can turn it around. Now I have in here about a pound of strawberries. I usually buy them in the little pound container. And this also, by the way, has a little grippy feet on the bottom. So I hear, I'm here on my countertop. And I wanna be able to get a good grip. So let me just put it this way so you don't just see my hands. This has a built-in handle right here. I'm right-handed so I can put my left hand here. But if you're left-handed, then you would do it the other way around. So all I'm gonna do is just turn them around. Now, I want mine to be a little bit chunky because I want it to feel like I really have fresh berries. Look at that. Look how finely those strawberries were chopped up. And I didn't fast forward this video or speed it up. So I'm gonna go just a tad, a little bit more. I want it to be crushed up just a little tiny bit more. So put the handle on again. 
There we go. Look how fast you can do a whole pound of strawberries. That fast. Well, you can choose whatever kind of pectin that you want. I will tell you, I love a brand called Mrs. Wages. I've already opened it up here. And I used to get this at my supermarket store. I used to own a kitchen store, and that's how I was familiar with Mrs. Wages. What I love about it is you don't have to put so much sugar in it. Now, I've already prepared my four cups of uh, strawberries. And do you not love our wonderful uh, measuring cup with Tupperware? So it's exactly a quart or right here, four cups. So I've already pre-measured it. By the way, this is um, two pounds of strawberries. So just in case, I mean, now sometime there might be an extra strawberry in there, but pretty much two pounds of strawberries fit right here in my four cups. And then I'm going to take my that's a bowl medium. You know, this is one of those overlooked bowls that you might not realize that we have with Tupperware. And, um, you know, we have the great big bowls, we have in-between bowls or smaller bowls, and then we have the in-between. Again, Tupperware is kind of like the three bears. We have the great big bears, we have the little bears, and this is the in-between bears. So all I have in here is the pectin, and then I have the sugar, and I'm just going to stir that up together. And do you love my Tupperware whisk? It even says Tupperware right there. Just in case you want to make sure you don't have fake Tupperware, right? Now, after I, after I mix this up, I'm just going to add the, the um, strawberries. And then you have to stir it for three minutes. Let me just blend this really quickly. See how that just goes with the contour of the bowl? Now, what other whisk do you know that goes right with the contour of the bowl? And you can use it to get eggs out of hot water, too. All right, so now we're going to stir this into the um, pectin mixture. Now, I love to use my silicone spatula, so it's really going to get all of the strawberries. And so I just pour in a few. Now, in the, on the directions, it's real important. You add the fruit to the mixture. You don't sprinkle the uh, pectin and the sugar on top. So I've done it the wrong way before, so that's why I'm telling you, read the instructions, follow them, they're pretty simple. So we're just gonna cover the berries here. We're kinda like covering them up with snow, so I get a little bit going. And isn't this so easy, using this pitcher right here with the whole core, it's just easy to pour out with this handle. So I know you're probably looking at this thinking, I haven't seen some of this Tupperware before. Well, maybe that's because you and I haven't met yet, or you're watching this as my one of my parties on a page which means you can click on the links around here and you're gonna learn so much about strawberries and other Tupperware products that we have look at that see my spatula my silicone will just pick right up see how easy it just cleans up the bowl let's finish this up then I'm going to stir it for the three minutes oh, I just love how that just slip slides right out of the right out of the measuring cup woohoo is that cool all right, so I'm going to stir this up. I'm not going to make you watch me do that for three minutes, um, but I will come right back and show you our finished product. That's as easy as it is. Look how fast that was. Be right back. 